In many of my previous videos, you've seen me use can smoke to activate and test out fire alarms. And some of the questions I've gotten over the years revolve around aerosol spray. Can aerosol spray such as Lysol and air freshener be enough to activate fire alarms? And today, we're gonna test that out. For today's test, I have one universal ionization smoke alarm and one first alert photoelectric smoke alarm. So we'll be testing out both technologies today. And the question is really gonna depend on if the particles in these aerosol sprays are fine enough to get into the smoke alarm sensors and activate them. This is the air freshener. And then we'll check out the Lysol here. The Lysol particles look to be a little bit thicker than the air freshener. So we'll be testing this out and seeing if it works. Okay, we're up in the attic and I have the smoke alarms mounted to the ceiling and the window is open behind me so that I don't die when we do this. And I figured before we spray the aerosol, I'll go ahead and spray it with some smoke centurion as a proof of concept that they are both working. So here we go. There they go. Okay, so in addition to the other aerosols that we're going to be testing today, I also did get some hairspray because I thought of the classic story of people spraying hairspray above a smoke detector in a hotel and accidentally setting off the fire alarms in the building. So I figured this would also be a pretty good aerosol spray to go ahead and test out as well. So that's what we'll start with here today. Here we go. Let's see. That one is the photoelectric one. That's everything left. Alright, there goes the silence button. And the ionization one never went off for that. Interesting. Alright, I've aired out the place and reset the alarm. Let's go ahead and test it out now with the air freshener. Here we go. There goes the photoelectric one again. Oh. Well, I've aired out the place again. It sounded like on that last round, the ionization alarm beeped one time right as the photoelectric one was stopping. So before we start this next test here, I'd like to go ahead and test both of the units with the test button just to make sure that they both are working. So here we go. This is the ionization one. Yep, that one works. Okay, good, they are both working. All right, time for the last test that we'll do today. This is with the uh, aerosol, or, or with the disinfected spray, uh, the Lysol. And I honestly kind of doubt that this one's gonna work just because the particles on this do seem to be the thickest. But we'll go ahead and test it out. So here we go. I'm going to be very disinfected by the end of this. And I honestly think I'm going to stop there because you might notice the alarms are already dripping wet. <laughs> so I don't want to completely damage the alarms. I think that is the test today. Obviously, now that we know that aerosols can activate smoke alarms, do try to avoid spraying any sort of aerosol in a building in the direction of any smoke alarm or detector as it can start a false alarm in the building. 
So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos and please have a great day.